NASA's Kepler mission has discovered three super-Earth-sized planets orbiting in the habitable zone of their stars. The habitable zone is the distance from a star where the surface temperature of an orbiting planet could be suitable for liquid water. Each of the three new planets is less than twice the size of Earth. About 1,200 light-years from Earth, two of the newly discovered planets are in a five-planet system called Kepler-62. The host star is smaller and cooler than our Sun and has three planets that orbit very close, making them hot, inhospitable worlds. Farther away are two planets in the habitable zone. Orbiting on the inner edge of the habitable zone is Kepler-62e. It is about 60% larger than the size of Earth and orbits every 122 days. The smallest of the habitable zone planets is called Kepler-62f. It is 40% larger in size than Earth and is likely a rocky world. Kepler-62f orbits every 267 days. These two planets are the smallest yet discovered in the habitable zone of another star. Much farther away, about 2,700 light-years from Earth, is a two-planet system around a star called Kepler-69. The star is the same type and very similar to our own Sun, although it is slightly smaller and cooler. The inner planet, Kepler-69b, is 2.2 times the size of Earth and orbits every 13 days. It is much hotter and closer to its star than the planet Mercury is to the Sun. The outer planet, Kepler-69c, is about 70% larger than Earth and orbits every 242 days. It is the smallest planet found in the habitable zone of a Sun-like star. Managed by NASA Ames Research Center, the Kepler mission is using a space-based telescope to search one part of the galaxy for potentially habitable planets. While scientists do not know if life could exist on the newfound habitable zone planets, their discovery signals another step closer to finding a true Sun-Earth twin.